Hey guys, so I'm going to record the chicken casserole that I made probably months ago. I'm finally going to record this. And Trail's here to go help gobble it all up. And it's after Thanksgiving because it's like chicken and stuff and stuff like that. So it's really simple. What I'm going to start with is I'm going to use my kasori and I'm going to use my chicken because it's frozen. And I'm going to pressure it and it only takes pressure cook it. And it's only going to take like 20 minutes or something. And then it's going to cook. And instead of just throwing it in there without seasoning it, I'm going to like throw like some minced garlic, maybe some onion powder, some garlic powder like that and show you guys. Oh, so the ingredients that you would need is the Kirkwood or any. Really, guys, I like to use the chicken breast with the rib bone the bone in chicken but um i don't buy it a whole lot i used to buy a lot when it was at kroger our kroger's closed and they used to have it like for 99 cents a pound i used to stock up like by three and four at a time maybe six at a time but anyway so i get this and the bone does make it taste gives it some more flavor tastes a little bit better but I'm going to use this. I used this last time for the first time. And then I got some celery. And then some family size cream of chicken condensed soup. And the family size cream of celery. You won't need all of this. But some of it. And I think at the time they didn't have the little cans. So you can also get it from Aldi. Which I got it from before. So yeah. So what you can do is you maybe can freeze this if you don't use all of it or um, I hate for you to toss it but sometimes I do toss mine but you can freeze it. I can freeze it as well. Then you need an onion and then um, some Chef Cupboard from Aldi stuffing cornbread mix. You really can get any kind you want. You can get the chicken, you get the herb, you can get the stove top if you want but I've used this and Aldi doesn't carry this here's a bag I already used they don't carry this all the time sorry for the rattling and this is herb so you won't need all of this and I'll show you guys how much you kind of see how much chicken you have and how much you're gonna make and you may need all of it you may not okay I'm getting ready to start my pressure cooker is a kasori is like a pressure cooker or insta insta pot so it has all these different settings and I just love to they sent this to me a while ago but I love to use it to cook things really quickly and um, what I see season the chicken with I rinsed it off it's still frozen though um, some onion powder some minced garlic not too much some accent some black pepper and some little bit of garlic salt because I have the accent so just so when it comes out it doesn't have like that bland was well, gonna look that bland pale color but it doesn't smell like you know how I just cook chicken with no seasoning smells like so it's gonna be about 25 minutes let's see normal let's see I'm gonna do high and then I'm going to go ahead and it's going to build up its pressure. And then I'm going to go ahead and chop up my celery and onions and saute it in a pan with some EVOO or maybe butter. Maybe both. Okay, what I did was I diced my medium sized onion and then some celery. And this is about four, four stalks of celery. And then I added some EVOO and some butter. About two tablespoons of butter and some EVOO. And this is from Aldi. So I'm going to saute this up in the pan. Okay, so now our onions and celery is still sauteing. And I took the cornbread stuffing and I wanted to use the herb stuffing because I already had it open. But I'm going to use the cornbread and if I need more then I use the um, herb stuffing. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to season this. Now my auntie, she does it a little bit different. I think she put hers on broil on low for a couple of minutes to toast them. But I'm not going to do that because last time I did, 
I walked away, which Sai will call me for something. I walked away and I almost scorched it. So I don't want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to season it like with some garlic powder. I'm going to put some parsley flakes in here. Um, some garlic powder, some onion powder, and maybe some minced onion and some pepper. So that's what I'm going to season this with. Like just sprinkle it on, then mix it in, and then so that every little bite will have some flavor and then when you layer your seasonings then you don't have to use as much salt or pepper well i still use pepper but a lot of salt oh my chicken is ready a lot of salt in your food when you're seasoning it when you're sitting down to eat and i use the parsley i thought i was recording guys and the garlic powder and I just sprinkle some in here just all over and then I'm going to mix this in and then I'm going to add some black pepper and some minced onion okay guys so what I did was I added the garlic powder like I said and the parsley flakes and you know fresh herbs will probably be amazing in here so maybe one day I'll do that I did some onion powder I did some black pepper in here and I would say about one take of this amount I would say one teaspoon of everything will be good I put some minced onion in here I put a little bit of thyme as well and then I put some rosemary but what did I do with it I must have stuck it back in here. Or am I blonde? Where did I stick it? Mm, that's Italian seasoning. I'll stick it back in here. And then some rosemary leaves. So like the fresh thyme, the fresh, fresh basil will be good. Some rosemary. Whatever you want. Um, and so my onions or celery are done. So I'm bootlegging it again guys with no tripod. And I'm going to put this in here and mix it up really well. And then my chicken, I let all the pressure out of my kasori. You can wait for it to unpressure by itself. And then I'm going to shred the chicken. And put it in here. And then lastly, we'll do the cans of cream of mushroom, celery, and chicken. And then you can see how much you have and it's up to you if you want to add There's so many seasonings in here so you don't have to add any more if you want to add more stuffing. And with all these stuff, sometimes I do have to maybe doctor it up a little bit more because it may be not as seasoned, not everything, but I believe the stuffing is one of them. I know the mashed potatoes is one of them. So you may want to add a little bit more seasoning like garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, whatever. And then I want to watch my salt content in this to make sure you don't have too much because the soups have sodium in them as well. Okay, so that's what our chicken looks like. And I will take that white foamy stuff off and... I will use the broth in the stuffing. So I'll show you guys. Okay, so that's the broth that I have left. Do I have chicken in there? Is that skin? And that's chicken. And then now I have my chicken. I'm shredding it with two forks. And this is all that skin and extra foamy stuff. I can't think of what it's called right now. But um, my chicken from Frozen in 25 minutes and it's seasoned. And then I will put this in my other pot. Okay, guys. So I need to get some kind of light over here. Some kind of light so it will be a little bit brighter. But 
Um, I did already mix some of the chicken in here already, but I wanted to leave some on top to show you guys. And um, this worked out really well because the very first time I did it in the kasori, I just put the chicken in there. I didn't season it, and then I opened. It, I was like, oh. And one of the boys, they always usually sigh. <laughs> They say, what does that smell? Because it smells, you know, different. Just like when you're cooking collard greens or beans or something, it smells different. And, you know, chicken without seasoning it smells, don't smell that great. So, um, I just wanted to put this in here so you can see it on top. And I tasted it and it's seasoned. So, with that minced garlic or if you want to use fresh garlic or some pepper and I put some accent in it and anything else you want to put in it, put in it. Maybe some Himalayan salt. I love Himalayan salt, guys. It just like takes stuff to another level. But usually I do it on my plate because I don't want to put too much um, in the food. So you see as more and more that you make, this makes a lot. So this probably will last for two days, even though my boys have been really greedy lately. And everybody's home today. Jason doesn't have to work. So, but Jason just ate and he's been doing the intermittent fasting. Which I'm not a fan of, but I will try. I will, I'm going to go back to doing. And he said his stomach has already shrunk. So, I am glad that Jake Trail's here to help eat most of this. But JJ's appetite is picking up a whole lot. But this is not one of his favorites. So, he wanted chili beans, but I make chili beans a lot. So, we're just going to mix this in really good. And then I'm going to use the broth from the chicken. And I probably should have added more from the chicken so it can be seasoned even more. And then I'm going to add in the um, soup mix, the soup. Okay, guys, so I put all of the cream of mushroom in. It's only had one can. And then I wanted to see before I got carried away because I kind of eyeball this. And I didn't want it to be too soupy, which I have had it soupy before. I'm going to add some water, but I didn't want to put too much of the cream of soups in here. And then I probably need to add maybe a little bit more stuffing because I have so much chicken. This is really a comfort food. I think today I'm going to use mix vegetables with it. I'm not going to um, you can use like um, candy yams, make yams with it. Whatever you want. Some string beans. That's usually what I make with it, but I don't know. I might ask them what they want. Okay guys, so what I did was I added two cups of water because all that cream of soups I used one can of the cream of mushroom condensed soup of the cream of chicken I had this big old 26 ounce because it's all I had that day and you see that I used a little bit over half of this can so I'm gonna put it in a freezer bag lay it flat and keep it for next time and then a little bit over half again of the cream of celery condensed soup of the same size can and then I added about another cup of the herb stuffing mix that I had left over from Thanksgiving because and then of course I used the big whole bag of this and these are let's see what else bags are these they, I think they only come in one size like the pepperidge farm is the same size it's a 14.0 ounce bag stuffing. And then I used a cup of another bag. So, and then what I did was I mixed it up really good and I made it flat in here. And I'm going to, I'm preheating my oven on 375. And usually I just watch it and it probably will cook probably for 45 minutes. And that's it. And I like to put it in this big casserole dish. Because I don't, my mom, my grandma, my aunt, they always made the casserole in this big old, I don't know if it's called a casserole dish or not, but this big old black <laughs> oven pan that you usually cook um, chicken in, you roast your chickens in, roaster, that's what it's called. 
a big old roaster. So I like this. I like to make like my Salisbury steaks in here and then like, um, or baked chicken, of course. And then put the lid on it and then like chop up the onions and stuff and just let it make its own broth. And then, you know, cook in here if I to cook it. Let it all marinate together. So there's my my lid. So that's what it looks like. You can get these at Walmart. I think like $8, guys. I'm not sure. Eight. It's been a while since I had this. But I knew I needed one in my collection because I didn't have one. Because I was like, I got to get a pan like Mama had. So again, I'm going to put this in the oven. Okay, guys. So it's out the oven. And it was in there for 45 minutes on 375 and I also made them some mixed vegetables. I threw the boy in the can. But it's two cans of the mixed vegetables. Then I just put like some minced onion, some onion powder, some black pepper. We're getting ready to go to JJ's game. It's fogging up my camera. But let's see. I can get, um, if you want it more brown, you can put it on broil if you want. Let's see, that's what it looks like on the inside. It's crusty up against the, it's still hot. Up against the sides, I guess I could have sprayed it. But yeah. And now it's going to cool while we're gone. And then, I used to do this a lot when I coupon. I made like a sheet cake for them out of a box. And they would want like something sweet or whatever for dessert. And this was really easy. Um, usually with couponing, the cake mixes sometimes. Sometimes they were a quarter. Sometimes they were even free. But most of the time they were 50 cents. And um, the icing. But this one I had for a while. I think I picked it up for Thanksgiving or some holiday. I don't remember. And then I picked up a... I guess I'll show you guys. The milk chocolate, um, rich and creamy, um, icing from Aldi, and then this was, I picked this up for something and didn't do it. I think when I was going to make, um, something for my husband, uh, friends or something, I don't remember. But anyway, so when I come back, I'm going to cover this up and I'm going to put this in the oven. And then, um, yeah, so that's it, guys. So thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this. I hope you understand. If you didn't, um, everything was clear. And if it wasn't, then just let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, so this is what it looks like. I'll plate it up. And I didn't put it on a white dish. Everybody's starving. After the basketball game, they lost. But they did a great job. But this is what it looks like. And now everyone's going to sit at the table with no phones and enjoy dinner.